Script update Boolean type for version 860 above. Starting from SQL accounting version 860 and above, standard field names containing Boolean values will automatically be converted as follows, T or 1 will be interpreted as true, while 0 or F will be interpreted as false. Custom, DIY, fields will remain unchanged. While SQL accounting manages most of these conversions automatically, there are specific scenarios where manual adjustments may still be required. Step to resolve error in Report Builder. If you encounter an error as shown in the image, record the object name and the error message string. Click OK to close the error dialog. Click the blue colored report name at the bottom of the screen to open the report designer. Click Calc and ensure you are in module mode. Open event handlers and locate the procedure mentioned in the error message. In the code, identify the list of affected field names. Change the value from 1 to true. Right-click and select Compile, ensuring no errors remain. Save the report and preview it to confirm the error has been resolved. Step to resolve error in Fast Report. If an error appears as shown in the image, it indicates an issue in the Fast Report. Record the error details note down the error message string. Click OK to close the error dialog. Go to the Tools menu and select Report Designer. Locate the report causing the error and double-click it to enter designer mode. Switch to the Code tab. Locate the error code. Update the value to either true or false as appropriate. Save the report and preview it to confirm the issue has been resolved. Step to resolve error in script. If you encounter an error message while accessing modules such as the Sales Invoice module, it indicates that the script needs an update. Go to the Tools menu, select DIY, and choose SQL Control Center. Double-click on the company name, then double-click Business Object to locate the relevant module. Open the script and click the magnifier icon at the top to search for the error string. Replace the error string with the correct Boolean value either true or false click Save. Then reopen the module. The error should now be resolved. That's all for this video. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.